Starting from bank view, you can see all the processing for the 12 channels associated with the faders directly below that screen. If you cannot see bank view, you may have a window open. You can close this by touching the X in the top right hand corner of that screen. As with the inputs, you can access any of the processing blocks by touching on them directly from bank view, or with the processing window open by selecting them from the top of the window. At the top of the channel strip, we find the external in settings. This screen allows us to patch an input directly into the mix bus. This is useful for such operations as combining console outputs or routing an external communications line to a bus. If a socket with a preamp is assigned, the preamp controls will be displayed here too. Next is the insert point and the PQ. These will be covered in more depth in a later video. All mix buses have a 28 band GQ. This can be adjusted by touching one of the bands on the screen and moving the slider, or by putting the console into GEQ flip mode. This is done by pressing the GEQ button on the console and touching the bus on the touch screen. The lower portion of the naming area for each channel will now show the frequency band that it's assigned to, and the associated channel faders can now be used to adjust the first 20 bands of the GEQ. Pressing the GEQ button for a second time allows access to the last 20 bands of the GEQ. A third time cancels GEQ flip mode and returns fader control to the channels. With the free pack available on registration, the GEQ has four modes which change the Q or width of each frequency band. Constant, proportional, digi and hybrid. An RTA of the PAFL signal is shown behind the GEQ. This can be useful for identifying feedback frequencies in monitors. After the GEQ, you will find the compressor, which has been covered in detail in its own video. Then finally, the delay tab. By touching and holding the options button and pressing the overlay, you can choose to delay the outputs in meters, feet, milliseconds or samples. This can be useful for time aligning different outputs to one another.